we are a daughter-father artist team who make and sell our own nightlights. Today's story is about... Dieting is for the birds. Dieting is for the birds is a very special piece for us. At every show, it gets lots of attention. Customers point and laugh at it. Everyone feels that dieting can be quite a challenge. Unfortunately, I was one of those cats not too long ago. During all four years of high school, I was on the swim team. We had intense workouts every single day. I was used to exercising constantly and not thinking twice about what I ate. Whenever her sister and I would say something about Gwen's constant eating or extreme soda drinking, she would just say, You only live once. We would all just laugh and she would continue on. The year after high school, I continued my same bad eating habits, but didn't continue to swim or exercise. As the weeks and months passed, my weight kept increasing. It got so bad that one day when I stepped on the scale, I weighed almost 200 pounds. I had honestly not noticed Gwen's gradual weight increase until I looked at some older photos. I was shocked when I showed Gwen. That was a real reality check. I knew it, but didn't want to admit it. That's when I knew I needed a change. I was tired of being tired. I was tired of not looking good in outfits. Tired of not feeling good about myself. I wasn't being the best person I could be. I told Gwen about my past problem with weight. I had successfully reduced my weight gain by increasing exercise, having a non-sugary cereal for breakfast, reducing my lunch calories, and eliminating snacks, and having a reasonable dinner. But, like Gwen, my weight had also started to creep back up. I knew I needed to take action. My dad and I began to work together to lose weight. Since we've always worked very well together on various projects, we decided to make this a priority. A weight loss buddy system. Reducing lunch calories was our first step. Well, that took a lot of trial and error to figure out the best food to replace our regular large lunch meals. We tried rice cakes. It's like I was eating air. We tried eating carrots. I liked them, but they were bland. We tried eating carrots with different dressings. I began eating more of the high calorie dressing than the carrots, so making it all pointless. We tried my favorite, V8 juice. Which didn't taste too great. We tried warming up V8 juice. It was better, but still not my thing. We tried lots of diet shakes. They had a nasty aftertaste, and some were just flat out gross. We tried a chocolate shake from SlimFast. It tasted great, like chocolate milk that had the protein and didn't have a weird aftertaste. For us, finally, it was perfect. Even though we found a great lunch meal replacement, I still remember the constant struggle of staring at the clock. I kept hoping for time to move faster so I could eat again. Taking one day at a time, I did start to get used to the smaller portions at lunch. There were many occasions when I felt like I just wanted to give up entirely, but I knew I needed to keep myself busy in order to succeed. We made it an effort to walk every day around the neighborhood. We later started to take on larger hills to get our heart rates up to really push ourselves. As we got better in shape, we also threw the football, played badminton, along with other fun activities. We would walk our dog. We'd walk our neighbor's dogs. We would even walk our cats. Basically, we'd walk anything just to keep exercising. After doing this for several months, we started jogging. There was this one time my dad and I were able to run as fast as we could for about a mile, and we didn't feel tired. That was the best feeling in the world. It was at that moment that we knew we were in the best shape we had ever been. I was so proud of Gwen. We could see and feel the results. Every day, whether progress was big or small, we felt that it was a victory. It took a long time, but I was able to lose 50 pounds and still continue to strive to lose more to this day. For this nightlight, we modified several images of our cats and put them into a picture which I had taken at Heritage Park in San Diego years ago. We added a few extra pounds to their bodies. Like us, we felt that so many people could relate to the fat cat's attitude. We all know that we shouldn't be eating that extra slice of cake, but it's sometimes just too tempting to pass up. It is a constant struggle to drop and keep off those extra pounds. It seems that we have all been there. We can relate to those cats. It's easier to say, we'll lose weight another day. 
guiding us for the birds. Or, you only live once. This was a long journey. It wasn't easy. But, all the hard work was worth the payoff. It took a lot of mental strength, willpower, a great support system, and the drive to succeed to get to that finish line. The buddy system really worked for us. When one of us was having trouble, the other would help. I didn't want to disappoint Dad. I didn't want to let down Gwen. Dieting is a daily struggle, but it has gotten better. It's a complete lifestyle change. It's a different mindset of how and why you eat, exercise, and live. But it's worth it. I feel great. I'm so proud of Gwen. I'm proud of what we have accomplished and hope that my story can help someone else. Dieting for the birds reminds us what we have accomplished. It gives me a chuckle every time I see it, and it reminds me of how far I have come. And remember, you only live once.